This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I deactivate my ZBrush license on one computer so I can use it on another? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have a PolyMesh 3D star here loaded in. So the question is asking about deactivating your current license of ZBrush. So let's say you have purchased a new machine, and you have ZBrush still running on the old one, and you want to deactivate your license on the old machine so you can install it on the new one. So how can you go by doing that? So if you just uninstall ZBrush, this isn't going to deactivate your license on the machine. This process allows you to install updates or future versions of ZBrush, and then your license will already be remembered on that machine, so you can just install that upgrade and then log right in. So in order to deactivate your license, you first need to navigate to an installation of ZBrush and use the Pixelogic License Manager. Now the Pixelogic License Manager will live in your Pixelogic ZBrush folder, as seen here. So on Windows, this would be Windows Program Files Pixelogic ZBrush 2020.1.4. In this directory, you'll find the application for ZBrush itself, and then also there should be the Pixelogic License Manager. Now, if you double-click the Pixelogic License Manager, this is going to open up this application. And in here, you should get a list of all the licenses you have installed on the machine. To deactivate one, you can just simply click it, and then click this Deactivate button. If you would like to deactivate all the licenses you have on the machine, you can also use this Reset button here and this will reset all the licenses currently installed on your computer. So as an example, if I just click Reset here, and then click OK, it's going to reset all my licenses on my machine. And now if I go back to ZBrush and close it, and then launch ZBrush again, you'll see that it's now prompting you to enter in your license information for ZBrush. So at this point, you would need to enter in your email and password for your Pixelogic ID, which would log you into your My Licenses page in order to continue using ZBrush on that machine. Also, if you do not have access to the computer that had ZBrush installed, you can go over to the Pixelogic.com My Licenses page and log in here with your Pixelogic ID and then deactivate any licenses associated with your account using the online form. So that is the quick rundown on how you can deactivate a license of ZBrush that is installed on a machine. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!